With a show, a show is almost the equivalent of a movie or an album. Like the amount of effort that goes into creating a new album if you're a band, even if you don't intend it to be, it's gonna have a, a thematic underpinning because it's about that time in your life and where you're at and what's going on. And it kind of holds together as a, a body of work. And it's not just, you know, 20 paintings, but it's 20 paintings that are all meant to go together and, and make one big statement together. So we're, we're here at the Corey Helford Gallery, which is pretty much the Corey Helford construction site. You can hear noises everywhere and it's madness. But in two days, it'll be a beautiful gallery with my show, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. My name is Ron English. I'm an artist and I have been an artist since 1964. Well, the piece behind me is a uh, monarch elephant. Like when I look at things, I look for visual equivalents. So like when I saw the elephant whip his ears out, it looked just like a butterfly opening. So like I'll just key off something like that. And the show's like more playful than my previous shows, I think. Brontosaurus is kind of the visual equivalent of a giraffe now. So I just painted the brontosaurus with the spots of a giraffe. Another painting in the show that like it's a rhinoceros, right? So people, are, but it's a unicorn rhinoceros. That, that's kind of playing with the idea of like everybody wishes there was a unicorn but they won't appreciate that we already have a unicorn, you know, it's just not exactly what they were looking for. Usually I just put limitations on myself. I like to keep the whole show to tell one story. I think life works better if you just, you're just you super consistent, but it's kind of frustrating to be super consistent, you know? I think, I think with me, consistency came as I got older that and did more and more stuff, then finally people could see it, like, oh, I get it, it all fits together. At some point, I, I think it seemed like I was all over the place, but when you kind of pull back, then you see, no, it actually, it works. It's all one thing, you know? For me, it took a long time for people to figure that out, I think. So it's more like how, how you present your art than what your art is. I feel like that I'm able to to get across what I want to get across. The only criticism of myself is, is um, I have a tendency to overwhelm people. That if I edited it more, or if I just showed half the amount of work, it would probably be more, more successful because I ask people to take on too much. Yeah, being an artist is not easy. <laughs> Evolution's nature's language. It's the way nature expresses itself. We're a species that is very involved in the way things are changing, so a lot of the show's about that. The whole show started when um, some scientists have decided that the Trinosaurus, there was no extinction. Basically, it evolved into the modern-day chicken. When I heard that, I thought that was hilarious, so I invented the character Poultry Rex. That's kind of a combination of a chicken and uh, the Trinosaurus Rex. And then I started playing with the idea of evolution and, and the tricks of evolution, and what if evolution went this direction instead of that direction, sort of the, the road unexplored by evolution. Hi, I'm Old Man at The Hundreds Home Base. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to The Hundreds YouTube channel to watch exclusive videos below. And check out thehundreds.com with the latest and greatest in street culture from around the world.